Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, last episode we were working on this creepy looking thing, which, you know, somewhat worked, but I just, one of the project thing ideas I've had for a while is, it was ever since I started on the Medusa project and my, my little wild ride there, was I was trying to think of something that, almost like a worm or something, it came to me, well, let's try a dragon. So I went ahead and did it. I actually did it already, so I'm actually recording this intro after I've already know the results. And it was a bit of a it was a bit of a tricky build. It was a bit of a pain in the ass. I'll admit that. Uh, I did do it in this world here, uh, not in this particular save, but it is done in this world, just because I want all my builds to be in the same world, so I'm not jumping back and forth from different save files. But at the same time, I don't want them around the new lag central. Uh, I did go looking around trying to find a. a sort of a foresty area that was somewhat flat and I did find one that had the room to work on the project and I did it. It took me a couple hours but it was a success and this is it.
And I bring you White Shade. It's an attempt at a dragon I'm going to try to do. Uh, to give you a... I'm going to go over what I've done here to give you an idea. It actually... It wasn't looking all that great at the beginning. Then once I cut towards the head, it started looking a little bit better. I threw a couple of cockpits uh, for viewing purposes. But anyways, uh, let's get build vision on here. And I'll just show you what's going on. Basically, everything from the tail up to about here is just on hover mode. Uh, it's just to uh, support the weight. Uh, the we'll call them the wings, or the same thing, hover mode, just like the helicopter. And then I've got a bunch in the inside the head to try to create the lift. Same with here. The only thing that's really gonna propel this, and I'm hoping this is gonna work, because I've uh, if you look back at episode 99, I was doing some testing with the air blades, and I noticed that even though I was using the steering or the directional that they were still creating some sort of force. So what my th thinking is, and I've done a save on this to, in case this doesn't work, I can double it up. I didn't want to make it too bulky. But these air blades at the bottom here are 
directional. So they're going to be pointing down, pointing up. Now they should be creating some sort of not only forward momentum from that, but at the same time too, it's going to hopefully create a flapping with the wings and not break anything. And then for steering, uh, I've got basically, I've just got uh, the nine on the bottom here to essentially rotate the head. So if I rotate the head, the rest of the body should follow. And it's sort of like the, the Chinook helicopter where you're just shifting the weight and hopefully things work out. So what I am going to do, I've already done a save too, so we are good. I am going to get a build vision here first. And I am going to wind this thing right down because... Oh yeah, that's the... It's a drawback with those too, because when I hit control to go down, the wings are going to fold up, but wings, the wings go forward. That's interesting. I did block off those hinges to limit the, the amount of momentum that they have, or range of movement. So I think we'll start at the tail. I put this here because I was trying to get that up higher, but that didn't work out too well. And I think it's just because I got everything all planted, so theoretically this should be enough to actually lift off the ground. I don't know why it wasn't actually lifting, but when does anything ever go right for me? Well, lately it's been pretty good, but can't have it all, right? So I'll take that out. I'm going to leave the cockpit on. I'll take this out. It's still a little buoyant. It's going to be interesting to watch this thing fly. Alright, I'll take these out. I always like doing stuff like this on camera because when things go wrong, it's always good to have evidence. Evidence of, uh, you know, uh, video proof of my killer. Yeah, I didn't really think about that too well. I was hoping the legs would sort of stand up a little bit. Now, this was the pain in the ass one. I don't know if you saw in the video, but I was having trouble trying to keep these upright. And I think it's got something to do with the fact that it's planted. It doesn't want to all cooperate the way it should. Alright. And I think all that's left is this side. So let's get rid of that. Go up and take a nice little screenshot of him laying on the ground like that. Oh, that looks really good. Oh, beautiful. There's the thumbnail right there. Okay, well, I've checked in the front cockpit here. You don't really get too much of a, of a view, right? So maybe we'll go to the back. I was thinking about trying to get one up in here somewhere, but, you know, then you're getting issues with top heavy and putting things where they don't want to go and everything but we should be able to get a fairly good view here oh yeah <laughs> and then oh look at that it didn't quite work out the way I'd hoped when it flies And I've got a stuck hinge already. Uh, let's take her up in the air, why not? That's why it's broken, because I'm using the hover up. And unfortunately, you can't d disable them on the air blades. Even though I have stabilization off. Alright, let's see if we can get some forward momentum here. And you can see the head's sort of turning a little bit. Uh, this ain't working out. <laughs> hmm. Let's sort of see the head moving a little bit. Let's see if we can move it over. Let's see if we can straighten this out. Proof of concept it works. Just need uh, better directional thrust. Now, I could just cheat and change some of these air blades over to directional, like on the wings. Just because 
Uh, see, that's what I was attempting to do, but it's not creating that forward momentum. So, of course, we're going to do this the right way. Oh, wow, that really clipped. Mm. Yeah, I got a broken hinge. Oh, he's got a broken wing. Oh, we're going to have to nurse him back to health. But, um... Hmm, which ones would be best to use? And I guess we'll just use the head. Why not? Because I don't have these set for anything right now. Stupid caps lock. Alright, directional. Directional. Is that going the right way? Oh. That's front mounted, so that's not going to work. Hmm. That's front mounted as well. I guess we could switch these ones over. Why not? And then we'll see what happens. See if we can get any forward momentum on this. Alright. Back to the tail we go. Do, 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 do. And surprisingly, the game didn't freak out on me. Like, the only thing I really need to do is add a rotating plate to this thing, and it'd be a black hole waiting to happen. Alright, let's get in here. Yep. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Not working out like I had hoped. No, probably because I have the directional set backwards. Let me see if I can get this thing working a little bit better. Hang on. Well, it is moving slowly, about 8 kilometers an hour. I uh, had to disable the directional on those, my uh, flappers, I'll call them. It didn't work out too well. Uh, it is going. I could pick up the speed a little bit. That wing did br fix itself. Uh, well, yeah, it's actually working. It's somewhat steerable. Mm. Somewhat. Unfortunately, because I had those wings all hinged like that, I really can't be putting steering on those either. Uh, yeah, we're moving at a whopping two kilometers an hour. I can walk faster than this. So let me see if I can get some more speed to this thing, shall I? All right, well, I think this is about the best I can do. It's still an improvement. We're doing good 18 kilometers an hour. We are steering it. It's good. I love the way it just moves like that. Let's see if we can go up. That's, that's the problem. Maybe I should uh, turn stabilization on those wings. That might actually help a little bit. Let me try that. And by wings, I mean my flappers. And I put them on directional, too. So, see if we can get a little bit more speed. The only thing I'm worried about now is it might actually pull the wings forward. See what happens. That's not too bad. I can live with that. I love it. How fast are we getting now? Nice 25k. 26. Let's see if I can hop out and hit the cut back block, uh, the rear cockpit. No, oh, because I was actually standing on top. So this one you can hit E while flying if you're in the head, anyways. And let's go to the front here, or the back end here. It's like a phoenix. Mm. I got this idea from doing Medusa. That's where uh, BC's Wild Ride sort of started at. Oh, I really wish this third person went out a little more. And there we have it. My first attempt at a dragon-like creature. I don't think we'll be able to land it. Let's actually see if we can land it over the hills here. There isn't too many trees. 
So I did have to clear out quite the space just to get the other one working. Why is my steering not working now? My controls seem to be all messed up now, apparently. But anyways, I'm going to call the episode here. i got to get this thing into the editing room and do a huge time lapse. I'm actually quite surprised at how this turned out. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's a lovely screenshot right there. And they call me mad. Ha! Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And I'll see you next time in the lab. Later.